Hey everybody, Dog A798 here. This is my review of the Fist of the North Star movie, which was released in 1986 and is based on the manga and television series of the same name, which were both which were both released in 1983 and 1984, respectively. The manga was created by Tetsuo Ohara, who writes under the pen name Barison. And the and both of the animes were created by Toei Animation, and this picture was brought here in America and dubbed in 1991 by Streamline Pictures. I think I didn't check Wikipedia before this review. This movie, the Fist of the North Star, Fist of the North Star tells the story of how. The world was nearly destroyed by a massive nuclear war in the near future. The world then entered a post-apocalyptic age where the strong praise, where the strong praise, where the strong rules over the weak. Kenshiro, the main protagonist, who you can see right here in the picture, in the martial arts stance, is the practitioner of a violent martial art called. Hakto Noken, which, which when, when he fights the enemy and he hits their pressure points, the enemy or the body part, that body part of the enemy, explodes in, in a violent, and gory, in a violent and gory, fashion. Hakto Noken can do so many things, like he can channel his energy and shoot large, key waves, a standard of shonen anime. Um, he can. He can um do various things like read minds, sense people, sense people, even heal people, even heal people and make people and make people do things against their will. Hakto Noken is invincible and can do so many things. Um Kenshiro, the main protagonist, is on a quest to find his woman Julia, who was stolen from him by his former friend and rival Shin who 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 is fist of the South Star and practices a rival style to Hakto Noken ha Nanto Senken. Throughout the story, Kinchiro meets various friends, rivals, and enemies. As for rivals and enemies, each rival and enemy have a different style or a similar style to him, and each rival and enemy are stronger than the last. This movie took several liberties with with the source material. This movie adapts this movie adapts the first this mo the, the movie tries to adapt the whole series, starting with the Shin arc, the first major antagonist, the first major boss antagonist Kenshiro fights all the way up to the final arc which is Ryle the guy you see in the back right here behind Kenshiro Kenshiro like I said this movie took several liberties with the source um, material a lot of the characters like Jackal and Ugor appear in different um roles and there are a lot of characters like Toki and y Yuza who aren't who don't appear here at all a lot of characters like Toki Yuza and another favorite character of mine named Devil don't um appear in this um movie the story is in my opinion is decently written but is rushed and the English dub which I love kind of makes it a little bit more confused kind of makes the story a little bit more um confusing <laughs> The, the animation is superb and it stood the test of time. It's even better now with the remastered version out, which I would love to get my hands on. Love the character designs. Love the animation. The music is awesome. So many awesome, so many awesome memorable scenes. This of the North Star is truly one of the best works in anime, um, history. Um history the fight and the fight and action choreography is phenomenal um and pretty much the entire production 
of this was good. If anyone wants to watch this movie, this movie is available on here, Fist of the North Star. Just type in Fist of the North Star 1986 movie or check the link in the description box. I'll post a link there. But um, yeah, I'll, this review was long overdue. I don't know why I kept putting it off. I'll do a salute and praise of the Fist of the North Star the entire franchise later. Oh, and finally, before I finish, I forgot. Yeah, I love the English dub. A lot of people don't like the English dub because it makes the story confusing. But when it comes to most anime, I love Japanese versions. But I b really prefer their English dubs because their English dubs don't take themselves that seriously. Seriously. And I think this English dub was was um very well acted. I'm not familiar with that many of the actors except for the actor voicing the main character, Kenshiro. I think his name is John Victory. Something like that. But, um... Yeah, and the movie is also very hilarious, despite how violent it is. When people's heads or body parts explode, or when they get beat up by the main character, Kenshiro, it is just such a horrible, hilariously bad, gruesome, cheesy, camp, gruesome, um, death. It is funny. Alright, um... Dog 8798 out.